Hi, Movi and Angie. What can you advise someone who is dating someone who still stays with his mom? <laughs> uh -huh. The gonna... fact that he does not have a place of his own makes it a little difficult, especially when you want to be intimate. Okay. Please advise, what can I do? True, if you live with your mother, you better have money for guest house, bro. <laughs> mother, that's not the much to give people. No. <laughs> no, I don't know the no. person's age. I wouldn't say that. Okay. First of all, how I are you gonna be intimate in his mother's house? Where must you be intimate, Mama? <laughs> I'm telling you, stop lying. Where must you? At a guest no, house. No, first of all, you. I just wanna say, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with mm -hmm. someone that stays in their parents' house. I, I don't agree. know how old that person is, um, but I'll take a wild guess. It's about 20, 23, the guy, somewhere there. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with him being at his mother's house as long as he is working towards something it is you know trying to build himself up there's no rush to move out do you know how expensive rent is guys i'm dying of rent right now it's not a joke that's why i can relate if you, you can cannot relate. afford it don't do it and if girls guys for this are the guys if girls put you under pressure to get your own place don't do it mm. don't do it because she wants to come and have sex what one two three times a week it's not worth it true it's not worth it but build yourself up Focus on you, guys. This is for the guys. Focus on you and don't let a girl come tell you that she can't be with you because you don't have your own place. It, it, it's, it's not fair. Facts. No. Facts. She's very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like everyone like takes their time to go. Yeah. And they like everyone has their own pace, so you need to respect that. But I feel like. Angie, if your girlfriend wants to be intimate, you must be able to pay a guest house, bruh. Okay, fine. Least, but you can also just have sex in your mother's house. What's wrong? How, no, you, ca you can't do that. In his room. Does he not have a room? No. I don't me, agree. If you're telling me he shares his room with his brothers and sisters, that's a different story. No. But the if he has his own his room. mother's house, no. No. Angie and I are going to fight about this. No. How is it? The mother doesn't have to be there. Let's start there. She doesn't even have to be there. No, but the fact that it's the mother's house. Will she know? <laughs> Do you know that house that is sending? It's also someone else's mother's house. <laughs> no, but it's not his mother's yes, house. But it's someone's mother's no, house. No, it's the principal, Angie. It's the principal. I, Angie and I, I, I don't just think, don't I, like I, I just don't. I personally, I don't think anything's wrong with if he brings you to. Especially if, like Marvel said, if your parents know that you guys are dating. Yeah, that's I mean, you're 22, you're dating. What do they think the 22 year old son is doing with a girlfriend in his room? Kissing and watching Netflix. Right. So let them kiss and watch Netflix in the room then. I don't see that. I don't see, think with that's a door problem. Locked. I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that there's anything wrong with dating a guy that still stays with his parents. I really don't. And if you want to get intimate, okay, fine. If you're not comfortable, communicate that. And like Marvel said, get a guest house. Yes, because I would never be comfortable doing that. Like, ever. <laughs> IG is just I, I would I don't mind. I, I would never I would never be able to do that. I mean, maybe if you're home alone, maybe a very far maybe. I just don't see I prefer where the guess. issue is. Okay, but ugh, I don't know. Like but I really don't have a problem with dating a guy. Because I mean if you if, if you're gonna pay for the guest house you every time you guys have or sex. even I pay. <laughs> if you're gonna pay for the guest house and let's just say every i don't see myself i don't see myself paying for a guest Why house because i'm comfortable with in his mother's house why must we go to the guest house <laughs> okay I can okay just okay, be okay. well you it's different because you feel like you're already comfortable with the mother's house i'm not so i don't know you don't even know the woman <laughs> no <laughs> You wanna feel sorry for someone you know you even introduce it to the lady yet and you wanna feel sorry for her. <laughs> it's a house for Okay, I think my genuine fear is just her walking in. I think that's what you fear. But you don't have to. Because no. she's not gonna walk in. Because it's possible, but it can happen. It can happen. And all you have to do is sorry ma'am, we're having a moment. Oh go my god. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think I'm envisioning my mother being told we're having a moment. My mother will die. She, like, it will. Ooh. I just think paying for a guest house every time you guys want to get intimate is just going to cost you a lot of money. Like, can you use the car? Because how many times in a week do you want to get intimate? The car. The if car you're in a relationship. Fine. The car is fine. Why not? No. What? It's fine, but that's that's for like adventure stuff. You don't want to be adventurous all the you time. You can be adventurous <laughs> until you get your own I am. Guys, okay, what's better? What's, what's better, your one? mother's house or your homie's house? 
my mother's house i don't do not take me to your friend's place it's just disrespectful because so your mother is not disrespectful but she, your home is because she won't no marvelous is my point <laughs> your home is for no as after soon as she watches in. this she's going to know what okay no i've never done anything in my mother's house just so you know. no like legit 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 i've not because <laughs> Where do I take them? In my mother's house. Like, my mama's always home. So, no. Don't, I've never. Ooh, I'm, just, I'm just speaking for other people from there. From there. Okay, from, but what if this guy's mother's always home? Like, what if that's what she Okay, is? why can't... I was gonna say, why can't they go to her house? But it's always for me better for, for the girl to come to the guy's house. Me too. I it's just that. It's just better that way. Yeah, because if you're caught into your feet, but, but mean, honestly, okay, fine. If he's invited you to his house before, um... And he was home alone. I think that's fine. I mean, it's guys. You can't always get a guest house. It's we just not gonna your, work. Your... Yeah, I just feel like it's okay that he stays in his mother's house and don't pressure him to yeah. get his own place because it's not <laughs> very easy in this economy. It's very hard. Rent is very expensive. It is. Food is expensive. There's taxi. Don't do it. And yeah, do you yourself that's complaining about him not having a place? You have a place of your own. <laughs> and if you don't, why not? Cause you can't afford it right Ooh, who said he up, can we need to stop having this whole yeah, thing about have, no, men should have their own like place we need, yeah. we need to stop putting men under pressure men should have their own place men should have a car men should have this no they're lit we're literally the same like if if you we're can't afford it and if you can't do it at that same time he's also going through the same things yeah. he's probably also struggling with work he's probably struggling with school we're the same True. we should stop putting pressure on each other to be on top we're not man man say a uh, race man man on race on pace is that what they say on pace on race or whatever on race on pace on race on pace yeah i have an ex that seems to not get that i seem to not get over oh my gosh play back in the day <laughs> back in the day thing <laughs> she left me it's a guy oh yeah interesting okay okay she left me for screwing up but it really bothers me that i keep growing stronger feelings Aww. for her day by day she has moved on and keeps telling me that she never wants to get back together oh. how do i get myself to embark on a new journey without being part of, without her being part of my life i think he's just going through regret regret he, he, was he the one who messed he up said after he screwed up after i screwed up yeah mm-hmm. it's regret it's regret bro it's regret uh, guys in life ne, god gives you some blessings only once just yeah. just just once and if you mess that up then i think the most important thing is you have to start by accepting yeah if you don't accept that it's done it's never gonna like it it won't be a possibility in your mind you're gonna keep trying to explore other options like how can i get her must i text her and send her flowers and whatever not i also think it's very important for you to respect her decisions right because she said she doesn't want to go back to you and I feel like you need to respect her and her partner's relationship. Right. <clears throat> um, if you really love the person, I feel like if they're happy, even if it's without you, you should be happy. Because you love them to a right. point that you want to see them happy. So I feel like she's happy and you need to start by accepting it first of all. And life goes on, guys. Everyone, like, life goes on. And I feel like you can find someone else that is that is gonna <clears throat> that's gonna automatically you're gonna see that you're gonna want to act right for this person because she is so amazing so i wish you all the best and i know that it's possible just yeah sometimes but, sometimes we think we just won't get over people you will my dear but guys it's <laughs> so easy everyone's replaceable very much and there's so many amazing people out there like you think that this one person is just for you you're not gonna find anyone greater and then boom here comes the next person and they're just as amazing and just as loving as if not the previous person or even better yeah Yeah. so don't don't beat yourself up about what you did first of all i mean we all make mistakes and unfortunately yours caused you to lose somebody that you really really love Mm -hmm. but respect the decision like marvelous said um try not to communicate with her because with some people it's kind of like a 
out of sight out of some people are out of sight out of mind people i'm like that if i don't see you if i don't talk to you if yeah. i don't do anything i I'll kind of tend on. to forget about you so if you really <laughs> want to move on completely block the person i wouldn't say that that's not what i'm gonna say what? i was not gonna say that i was gonna say just try to cut off the communication and just don't talk to them as much you're actually very lucky because with a lot of people in that situation um she doesn't even take advantage of how you feel True. there's a lot of people where if when the guy messes up the girl kind of has the upper hand <laughs> and she's like yeah i'm with this new guy now but kind of still keeps you there to control you yeah. and kind of you know she's actually been very clear about her intentions and very clear that she doesn't want to be with you i think she's really moved on she's moved on so i you respect that and you just move on as well yeah. um like mama said i wish you all the best with finding somebody great and yeah don't be in a rush to find love guys it's it's there it's gonna come find you don't find it it will find you so in the meantime focus on yourself you know find ways of loving yourself and just <clears throat> enjoying yourself enjoying a single life enjoying exploring different people until you find someone that you really truly um love and want to settle down and want to settle down with um how do you just let go of a man that doesn't care no value you how do you let go of a man that doesn't care about you? You let go. You let go. I mean, there's not really much to that text because I don't know how she feels about him. Yeah. But if you, let's say you're you're really in love with him and he just does not value um, and care for you, it's not going to be easy. I can tell you that. It's never easy letting go of somebody that you love. But at some point in your life, you do need to put yourself first. Yeah. And you need to kind of think about what you deserve and if you are somebody that just does not show you that you deserve more than what they give you don't settle for that yeah i feel like you've already identified that right. you're not interested well because right many women tend to make excuses right for their men like to say um Oh, he did this, but no, it's fine. I think he'll change. I think he'll change for me. I think so. Right. You've already identified the fact that you're not being treated well, and I think that speaks volumes. So you already know the problem. Right. And then you just have to like identify how you're gonna move. How you got? How you're gonna leave? Peace. So you can distance yourself slowly. You can close up more, and then him will he will be like what's going on that's if he even cares some niggas don't even care <laughs> they don't pick that up <laughs> they'll be like oh how was your day it's okay okay mine was great. like and you're being so caught up but he's not even picking up that something's right. wrong with you so i think you should just slowly let go and then eventually you're gonna see and for me i think what 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 really helped me especially is self-love I was about to say that when yeah. you love yourself me you know exactly how you should be treated oh yeah and you always take a stance against like this is it this right. is not this is not worth my energy my time my whatever not so i think work on your self-love the more you work on your self-love the more you are able to know what you deserve and the kind of love you're supposed to get so, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Thanks, I Ange. wholeheartedly agree with that. We've been disagreeing a lot. No, because Mama, you just some things you just don't get. <laughs> Hi, Mar. Please keep keep me anonymous. Yes. What's the point. Me okay. Skilled me help. And I wait for that that they turn up total and lose it. I'm not a bad person, right? It's like more than three grand that he owes me. Sorry, Whoa, it's a typo. Oh, that's a lot of money, bro. I'm honestly just tired of being in this relationship. I just fear that if I dump him now, that he won't pay back my money. Go on. And I also think, uh, I kind of feel like we both know the relationship is over. It's just both of us haven't made it official. Mm. Maybe it's one sided. I don't know if I should walk away or try. Make up in a heart. Stoy. Stoy. But I think I know what to do. Just don't know if it's right. But time will tell. First of all, three grand. There's no way I'm letting that nigga go. I'm just thinking, me, I'm thinking, how did you get to giving him three grand? How? Me! 
No. Ah, uh, no. But the thing with me is like, I'll legit leave you. Ask for my money. If you don't want to give it, I'm going to make, make a police. Right. I'm not going to be in a relationship because I'm waiting for you to bring my money. Like, secure the bag. My, like, there are different ways to do it. My question is, have you asked him for your money back or are you just waiting for him to give it to you? Because you need to ask for your money back so Maybe you get your like, coins. Oh, this girl, she's so nice. She doesn't ask about the money. Yeah. So let me just let it go. No, you yeah. ask for your money back if he doesn't want you tell him you th you tell him listen if you're not gonna give my money back i'm gonna open a case against you yeah and that's it so don't feel sorry for him or anything like that i don't know why we always keep ourselves in things that are obviously over yeah. why do we do that to ourselves if it's over it's fine mm. things there's an expiration to everything you know if it's if it's done it's done you move on don't hold yourself in a relationship that you are not happy in Facts. so if you're done and if you feel like it's not working for you walk away walk away like i said i i love saying that it's unfair for people but it's unfair for that person <laughs> to be in a relationship and they're not being appreciated or loved yeah and it's unfair for you to be stuck in a relationship where you, this person you don't even you don't feel anything for them so what is there just leave the relationship guys there is i feel like we we put so much value in relationships and we feel like we need to be in one and no there's it's completely okay to just be single and enjoy your life in fact guys when and i when was single uh, angie like lived her best life to be very honest like it was Single life was great. It was lovely seeing her life. I didn't even know what this love thing is until it just hit me out of the blue. She was really happy. Don't look for love. It just comes at you. Find when you. you're single, live your life. So, yeah, no, don't put this whole, I don't know how to leave. You know how to leave. You do know. You just don't want to. Yeah. It's not that hard to leave, to tell someone that, you know what, it's just not working out. I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. Don't be afraid to start over. Like, for me especially, I think it's a bit more weighty because like my relationship is on social media so people have this thing of like i don't care my dear i will all those pictures up. that were posted my dear will be deleted tomorrow yes and if i post another guy don't ask me questions yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> like it is what it is mm. like please just don't fear starting over right because many people are holding on to things because of what society says and also. what everyone else says like don't don't be scared that's true so i think you know what you need to do like as you said you just skip to it but get your money get your money Ooh, three grand oh, that's yes. like a whole new wig bra so i really want to be I really want to be in that good relationship, but I'm scared because of what happened in my past relationship. And I even have anxious about, yeah, I think she meant anxiety. Mm -hmm. And I even have anxiety about what might happen in the future. And I really want to be in a relationship. Okay. Why does she really want to be in a relationship? Yeah. Like, it's almost Maybe like she, she means like she really wants to be with this person in a relationship. No. So she's saying, she wants to be in a good relationship but she's scared because of what happened in the past relationship but what i'm what i'm saying is maybe she's talking in the sense of one person she wants to be in a really good relationship with this person maybe she's talking to someone okay and she wants to be in a good relationship with this person but something is stopping her because of past experiences true so if she's talking about it in that sense because that's how i'm understanding it then what i always say is it i'm gonna use this i'm gonna use this term again it's unfair Ugh. it's unfair for the other person to have to experience you like you not trusting them because of your past relationships yes. they've done nothing to you yep they are trying to show you that they're honest and trying to love you and you you're not allowing them because of what has happened to you i mean we understand that it's kind of hard because we i understand that what might have happened in past relationships maybe abuse maybe cheating whatever it really is hard to trust the next person but you kind of just have to give it a, a go yeah give the person the benefit of the doubt because they truly didn't do anything bad to you and if you constantly keep that whole past thing against new people destroys or, or, or it prevents the relationship from really growing to its full potential you know because if i'm with somebody and i'm just they're trying to be good to me all i'm doing is saying yeah but my ex cheated on me and i don't know if you're gonna do that or, yeah it's, it's it's not gonna really allow 
the relationship to really prosper yes. as much as you would want it to <clears throat> so try to just give um this new person the benefit of the doubt in the relationship and hopefully it also express though what has happened in your past to them so that they know how to handle you you know so that they know that okay she's been through a couple of stuff i understand that and i'm trying to prove to her that i'm not going to be this person to them so do also communicate what has happened to you in your past so that they can understand you better as a person understand why you feel the way that you feel sometimes mm -hmm. but try your best just to um not hold what happened in the past um against that person the new person i'll say True. until they prove you otherwise <laughs> I also feel like what happens when you bring like past past problems into your new relationship I feel like I always compare it to like parents comparing children like my brother does certain things and now my parents try to inflict that onto me I'm not that person so mm -hmm. it's really important for us to try and realize that your your ex hurt you to a point and that's why it's so important to but after relationship then you need space to be single you don't because space. that's when you're healing and when you meet someone else you don't you do inflict like what happened in the past but it's not as bad right. like as when you just jump into a new relationship and then i also feel like like angie said you need to voice to your partner so what happens is if you were cheated on and you don't voice it to your partner but you're always telling your partner let me go through your phone they're gonna see it as this girl doesn't trust me but if you explain that i've been cheated on before and that's why i'm gonna go through your phone they're gonna see it as okay no she just needs time to right. you know so explaining what you've been through before plays a huge role in a relationship but all the best and i understand your anxiety I've also been cheated on my dear. I thought the next and the next and the next the way Gucci, to do but it. it's not like that. And it's not like that. There's really amazing people out there, guys. True. That really just wanna love you and That's true. Just look for that person. Or no, let that person find you. I have one. I have Yay. one. Okay. So there's this friend of mine, right? Uh we've known each other for over five years. Wow. She dated one of our mutual friends, but they broke up a year ago. Okay. I had a little too much to drink one night, and he came over to my place, but we ended up driving to his place. I've been there once before. I slept over because it was always a platonic friendship. Yeah. So, on the other night, he low-key also had a bit too much to drink, and we ended up making out. I really felt bad about it, and I kind of knew that I had to tell her, but yeah. I didn't know how. I told the guy that I was going to tell her, but he convinced me that it wasn't wise to say anything since she kind of thought that we were involved while they were dating and he's convinced that she will hate me if I tell her. I really don't know what to do. Uh-uh, I'm going to wait for you to answer because my brain is running. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. For me, I for one feel like I'll tell Angie. Yeah, let's kind of use ours. Yeah, I feel like... I would tell you, bro, like 150%. But the thing is also, you're not like normal people. Angie's very really forgiving. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to be like... like Bruh, as a like, oh, she'll be like, she's very, she, she, she's very like... I would, I would just, I feel like, um, for the sake of your friendship, if you really, truly do love her and you do value the friendship, I mean, honesty is one of the very key um, things that you should have in a friendship. And yeah. if you really, really do love her as a friend, I feel like you should tell her. Mm -hmm. The only problem now comes in that you should be ready for whatever reaction she is yes. about to give you. So if she says, you know what, I'm about to cut you off because I feel like you were not loyal to me. That is something that you should be ready for. Mm -hmm. um, so... For my side, I just think that it's 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 wise just to be honest about what had happened, yeah. and I know a lot of people always say, "Yeah, we had a bit too much to drink. I had a bit too much to drink. We can't blame alcohol for everything. You, it was so, something that you knew you were doing. Yes. As much as you were drunk, you knew you were doing it. And <clears throat> for me, I kind of feel like you were not considering your friend's feelings in this in because that moment. I feel like I would never personally. I just I could not, not even picture kissing Velton. I can't even like yeah. picture, not even if I was passed out drunk. That's I can't true. picture it. Because when I look at him, I look at marvelous. You know? So it's I always kind of would have her feelings 
in my head about yeah. how she would feel about it. But I mean, it's okay. We all make mistakes. I, I don't want to hold you against what you did or anything like that. But if you really, truly want to save your friendship, do tell her and be open for whatever reaction she's going to give you. That's what, all I can really say about it. Let me tell you something. They say whatever happens in the dark must come out in the light. Don't yeah. let your friend hear from someone else. Right. That you guys just... Yeah. It's so much better for her to hear from you. Because trust me, this guy might even be trying to get back with your friend. And that's why he doesn't want you to tell her. I don't think mm -hmm. he's looking at it from a perspective of, oh my gosh, your friendship. Men, men, very aren't, selfish. men aren't that considerate. Right. Mm -mm. So there might be a reason why he's like pulling you back to not tell your friend but i feel like if she hears it from someone else before she hears it from you that friendship's over or for me it would have been it like would if, have been like if i heard from someone else but if angie came to me and was like straight up listen this and this happened it's actually something that you can consider yes, friendship they not be like you didn't you saw her pla that you wanted to tell me right. about it so i would i would acknowledge that or yeah that. and i feel bad because the thing the problem is now that she your friend already kind of had suspicions of you guys when she so that that would also play with her like i knew that they had something in but you should really be ready kids. for her so, to like believe that the other times were true yeah and to be honest you should be ready even if you tell her but it wasn't like that it was just after she'll probably be like yeah but you're lying just be ready for all but of in that. what setting would you tell me would you text me i would not text you i think i'll come see you face to face yeah same. i don't like i feel like with texting there's a lot of miss uh interpretation of yeah. how, how what it, what we're saying we don't we don't there's just we need to talk in person i need to see you i need to see your facial expressions i need to see you i need to hear your tone we need to be interacting like this so don't text rather go see her uh to tell her and i really wish you all the best when it comes to that honestly i wish you all the best when it comes to that because it's not easy losing a friend but we need to we need to also be need prepared for up. our we need you, to be prepared for the you, you made your bed so lay in it yes you made yes. your bed so lay in it you need to be prepared for the consequences that comes with it anyways guys that um pretty much sums up part of the dms there's still a lot more but we'll do that some other time um i really hope you guys love the video i hope you guys enjoyed um the video and i Hope anyone maybe who needed advice on something that's similar could take something away with them. Yes, very important. Yeah, very important. And I think most important, like, thank you to everyone that opened up to us about yeah. very personal things. That's true. Like, you actually have to DM us from your private page. Like, we know who sent what. Right. Um, but we're going to be very. What, anonymous? no not anonymous but we're not gonna tell anyone like oh yeah no no we don't do that like, we don't we do don't that do around that. here we don't do that that's we not don't. the kind of game we play out here so all the best guys and thank you don't forget to don't forget to comment like and subscribe uh -huh. uh yeah and we will hopefully be back with uh another episode round two bye bye